Technology has become increasingly important in how we teach math in terms of allowing the students to find new relationships between concepts and in order to allow them to be more active learners. They are now thinking critically about how things relate and how they can build new relationships knowing, you know, using their prior knowledge. Um, new apps allow us to really have them do this and get immediate feedback as to whether they understand. What I want you guys to do now, we're going to look at how the areas compare for these two shapes also. Do you see the point Q? Yeah. You're going to take it and you're going to flip the triangle upside down. Oh, whoa, what shape did that just make? A parallelogram. A parallelogram. How many triangles did it take to make one parallelogram? Two. Two. So how do you guys think we would find the area of one triangle? Uh, height, no, base times height times, times, times two. Would it be times two? Is, it, is the triangle two times bigger than the parallelogram? No, two times smaller. Two times smaller. So what would we do? Would we times by two? Divided by two. Divided by two, perfect. So what's the area of a triangle now? It's height times base divided by two. Amazing. Pretty good, eh? So I really like this app because it makes it a lot easier to visualize when you're trying to think of the connections between two different shapes. So when it's on a paper, you can't really move the, the writing around, but with this, like, you could go like that, and it looks really cool. And it works, and it's easy. Um, I, the, something I also really liked was how the... Um, Colors were very bright, and I, I like neon colors, and this really made me have a more of an interest in the in geometry. And yeah. I'm very excited to use this in my class and provide these tools to the students.